If you're anything like me, you're going to want to speak to a specialist, but you're also going to find turning on the scene world a bit distracting. Let's look at how we can make the viewport easier to read while still having our environment light affect our models. First of all, if you're rendering with EVR cycles, you can come over to the render tab, film, and check transparent, which makes things a little easier to read, but doesn't give us much control. It also doesn't work in look dev mode. Another thing you can do when rendering in cycles is in the world tab, turn off ray visibility to the camera, but again, this doesn't give us much control and we don't have the option in Eevee or indeed look dev mode. Perhaps I should focus on showing you how it works rather than padding out the video with how it doesn't. Open up a new window and switch it to shader editor and set the context to world. What we have is our environment texture plugging into our background node, which outputs to the surface of the world. Highlight the background and press Shift D to duplicate. Now add a mix shader node and mix the two background nodes like so. Hmm, that felt like a lot of work. Brony points to anyone in the comments that can tell me a quicker way to do this. Right now the factor is mixing between the two, but what we want is for the top slot to affect our lighting and the bottom slot to affect our viewport, whereas at the moment both are affecting both. Press Shift A to add a light path node and plug camera ray into the factor. Now the top slot likes our object and the bottom determines the colour of our viewport. So it turns out quite a few of you listen to this end bit, so I suppose I should give you a good reason to share this video and subscribe and stuff. Eh... Uh...